Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading Aquarius. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. What do we have for you Aquarius? Aquarius, this is a collective message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. Okay, so let's see what do we have for you Aquarius. We have a water sign, we have relax. Okay. So you might be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that water sign. Those signs might be quite important for your situation or might be involved in your situation. We have relax, downtime, self-care, take a break. So that might be, uh, for some of you, you might, go, might be planning to go to the spa or you just want to, you know, uh, relax, <laughs> take a break go for a break somewhere just relax spirit here it's it's kind of trying to point out that it might be important for you to relax to take a break because something might have been quite draining recently or you know you just you are just in need of this we have dreams so you are divinely guided here pay attention to your dreams Aquarius because there is a guidance okay i'm getting very strongly like an ancestor ancestors energy that they are guiding you through dreams we have no contact situation for some of you re recently uh, there might have been a breakup you had a breakup with someone or there is an again no contact situation with someone and spirit wants you to you know you know take it easy to relax we have a sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So you might be dealing with another Aquarius. We have Gemini and Libra as well. This is like an Ace of Swords. This is Ace of Cups. I'm getting very strongly Aquarius that something here started. It had a potential to be emotionally fulfilling, but it ended very quickly, actually. And there is a no contact. It's like someone just withdraw their energy. And there is a no contact situation between the two of you. But clarity is coming, some sort of form of communication. It's showing up for you. Well, let's see. Let's see, Aquarius. Let's see. Let's see. What do we have for you, Aquarius? What do we have for you Aquarius? We have a Five of Wands. Too many. What else we have for Aquarius please? For Aquarius. We have a Ten of Swords. We have a Hierophant. Okay. So we have strong Taurus energy. You might be dealing with Taurus Aquarius. One more, please. We have a Ten of Pentacles. We have a Five of Cups and we have King of Wands. Okay. So I see Aquarius that there was a tension, conflict, disagreement with the Five of Wands and ultimately something here ended with the Ten of Swords. I feel it was a pain, emotionally painful ending, a huge amount of disappointment. I feel that you had a high expectations here regarding certain connection with the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles, it might be a case, Aquarius, that you were in a long-term commitment with someone. There was a disagreement and this person um, hurt emotionally, you know, hurt your feelings. They betrayed your trust. That this whole situation here, I feel with the Five of Cups, made you feel very, very, very unhappy, disappointed 
very sad very sudden right very sudden you might be dealing with the fire sign with this king of wands but i feel aquarius you know whatever the case might be here it's like um you're trying to make a sense out of it with this king of wands I feel you being ambitious. This this particular energy is showing me that you've been through a lot. Very kind of complex situation that ended in a disappointment, bringing disappointment and dissatisfaction. It feels, Aquarius, that you do have support, though, when it comes to your close family, relatives. There, there are people who, who want to be around you and who want to kind of, you know, be there for you. But something, without a doubt, has been incredibly training. We have 555. Angel number 555 might be quite important for your situation. There is a guidance, might be worth checking what this angel number means. But I'm seeing change, changings, endings and new beginnings. We have two tens, right? It's like you are in the middle of transition. Things are changing. Also, it kind of brings this energy that certain situation that has been draining very kind of uh, exhausting it comes to an end it, it's coming to an end or it came to an end it, it is like a, a little bit for some of you Aquarius you might feel like a bittersweet outcome but overall I'm seeing you being very kind of focused on something here with this king of wands focused on you have a goal you want something you are very ambitious you want something here to happen but overall i'm seeing you trying to make sense out of something that occurred something something that massively disappointed you and for some of you indeed it might be a case that that there was a, a breakup between you and someone with whom you you had a long term uh, long term you were in a relationship an established relationship for some of you like a family is involved in this situation let's clarify this why the five of wands why the ten of swords why the hierophant why the ten of pentacles why the five of cups and why the king of wands for aquarius Look how many times we have four tens here, Aquarius. We have a ten of wands, we have a two of wands, we have a ten of cups, and the strength. Yeah, huge changes, huge changes. It's like you are, it might be a case for some of you, Aquarius, that you feel like you are starting from the scratch, from the very beginning. something was very very draining or has been very draining burdening you it, it feels like you are carrying the, the backpack full of stones and it's just getting by when you make a step it's getting more more difficult but with the ten of wands there is there is an indication here Aquarius that you are you're going to drop this burden and then you have look you have it's like a, you 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 are this two of wands always kind of reminds me of a gate it's like for me it's a gate card personally for many readers it might not be but i see it as a gate card gate card you know and as soon as this situation here will come to an end because i feel that energetically it still might be quite draining you might be still attached to it because 
it depends on circumstances, right? For some of you, there is a property involved and certain thing has to just um, be resolved in order for you to approach this new beginning. But whatever this Ten of Wands represents for you, Aquarius, that draining energy, you will soon drop it and you will be here ready to approach this new beginning this gate card for me you will go through this gate into the ten of cups emotional fulfillment happily ever after i see you being in a relationship aquarius that will bring happiness and joy after this huge emo emotional upheaval that you might have been through or you face this soon you will be in a very happy relationship or in a very happy place I have a Leo energy very strongly it's showing up you're manifesting happiness look how different this energy is from this and this is like a change that it's represented by the two of wands that slowly will manifest slowly will open this new chapter will open and you will be in a very happy relationship that's what they want me to tell you they, they are not saying who that is it can be a leo doesn't have to be a fire sign but what i'm saying and what i'm seeing here very strongly is that you will be happy and that's what spirit wants you to know you will be happy and you will be in a very happy, fulfilling relationship. Very, very soon you will approach this new beginning. And those, this opportunity will manifest itself. What else we have for Aquarius? What else we have for Aquarius, please? We have King of Pentacles, so we have the Earth, Earth sign. We have the Eight of Wands. We have a Knight of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> and we have a Judgment. So, long awaited message will arrive very soon. But I also see that Earth sign. So, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person here hasn't been in touch for a long time, Aquarius. They will send you a message. This is someone who wants to be in touch with you. And with the Knight of Pentacles, they haven't been in touch for a long time. Because Knight of Pentacles, it's, it's the slowest moving knight. He takes his time and sometimes it might seem that he takes forever to come forward. This, therefore, it's telling me, this combination of cards, Aquarius, it's telling me that this earth sign, this king of pentacles, male, female, please take it how it resonates, will send you a message or they will be texting you or this is someone who will want to be in, a, in touch with you. And they haven't been in touch for a long time. With the judgment, they want to resurrect this connection. They want to resurrect this contact. You being in touch with them. You might be dealing also with Scorpio. Um, let's clarify this, Aquarius. We have, uh, so we have, why we have the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and the Judgment. For Aquarius. We have Five of Swords. And we have Ace of Swords. Oh my gosh, we have an Ace of Cups. <laughs> This, this person wants to talk, Aquarius. 
with the Ace of Swords. They, they, they want to clear the air and they want to clear the air about this Five of Swords because what I'm getting here that it might be a case that this energy here that we're talking about at, at the time they might have played some sort of mind game or they mind games or they gave you like a wrong impression and you kind of see them as someone who is mm, I don't know if I should trust them they coming here to clarify their behavior Aquarius they want to clear the air five to the to the, to the ace it give us six of swords it's like this person wants to move this connection or the whole situation into calmer waters to bring more peace to bring more balance and harmony to the situation they're coming here to explain why they behave the certain way and they're coming with an offer of love aquarius this person wants to uh wants to wants to have some sort of new beginning here in love with you but firstly they know and they feel maybe that's why it takes so, such a long time for them to come forward because it's not an easy thing to do but they they will talk they will try to explain why they acted in this five of swords energy why they acted why they they will explain it to you or they will try to explain it to you why they might came across being i don't know two-faced or that they came across a, like a like a play or they played them you might got an impression that they played mind games but the main thing here is that they do want to clear their air. They want to give you an explanation about this behavior represented by the Five of Swords. And ultimately, they want to have a new beginning in love with you. But this is like an, at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> so this is something that they, they have. This is their plan to have this new beginning in love with you but firstly they do need to clarify it and this is what this person wants to do they want to clear the air and they want to kind of uh, tell you or explain themselves why they came across like this or why they acted that way so let's see the outcome could you please show me the outcome for the for, for Aquarius show me the outcome for the Aquarius show me the outcome for Aquarius we have a seven of swords okay uh, the death card six of swords and the nine of cups <laughs> and we have a knight of swords I feel Aquarius that deeply inside you do have something to tell to say uh, to this person or with regards to the situation we have a seven of swords we have the death card we have a six of swords we have a nine of cups no bs that's what it is this is an energy i feel that you have enough of people being sneaky lying to you being to faced take it advantage over you you know not just acting not in a very nice way and it's a very very kind of gentle way i'm saying it you have enough of lies of gossip of people telling you something else to your face and acting completely differently you have enough of it that's why you ending this you ending those situation i'm getting aquarius uh, metaphorically saying a big kind of a uh, decluttering energy it's like a decluttering it's like detaching from people and situations that no longer serves a purpose in your life and causing you just 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 wasting your time and energy and with the seven of swords it might be a case that there that there, there, there was there were there was one than more person i don't know how to say it properly <laughs> in it, that there were mu that there were many people who represent that energy being sneaky to face lying to you having secrets i feel you are just saying enough it's enough and it's quite straightforward it's like i am done with this 
no more i'm done i don't want to encourage this i don't want to it's not encourage entertain this i'm done i want to move into calmer times i want to have peace and quiet i want to have harmony because it's been too much it's been too much i'm not interested in this energy I'm not interested in people or situations that bringing uh, that you have to wondering or you feel uncertainty or there is a lack of clarity. No. You're ending this. You are detaching from it big time. And what is happening after this? You are happy, Aquarius. Nine of Cups. You are happy. You are in a good place. And you are ready to manifest in your dreams. And you are ready to chase your dreams. And that's the outcome here, Aquarius. I feel that you are just... And I'm, and trust me, when I see this energy, I'm not surprised that you are taking a stand like this. Because enough is enough. You know, it wouldn't surprise me that you would say, for instance, but someone just... Just cut this BS. Just, what do you want to tell me, please? Because I have no time to waste. I've wasted too much time for this. And I'm tired. For some of you, it might be a case that you are essentially moving. Moving your current place of residence. You're moving into a different city. You're moving into a different house. You're moving into a different country, state, whatever the case might be, where you feel that you'll be happy. Because I feel Aquarius, you just want to have a peace and quiet. You want to take, relax, right? This card, downtime, take a break. And, and you just want to be happy because you have goals, you have dreams, and those dreams will manifest. And for some of you, you might feel that there is impossible for you to achieve those dreams because of this energy that's why you are ending this that's why you might be thinking i need to detach for my well-being for for my overall energy because i want to be happy i want to chase my dreams that's it i want to finally focus on what makes me happy and on myself this is very straightforward energy, I must say. Very strong Scorpio as well is showing up here. Let's clarify this. Why the Seven of Swords? Why the, why the Death card? Why the Six of Swords? And why the Nine of Cups? Please for Aquarius. Chariot. There you go. Absolutely. Chariot. Page of Pentacles. And we have a the magician excuse me nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck overall energy for your for your reading aquarius self-care self-love putting yourself as minding your own business and just being happy for some of you being happy by your own because this is very self-sufficient very uh, independent energy also i'm seeing your finances looking very good and it means that you will have more to kind of uh, to to enjoy essentially so we have the the chariot the page of pentacles and the magician you manifesting change you might be dealing with virgo virgo gemini i also have cancerian energy with the chariot you 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 want to you want to chase your dreams that's it and in your outcome here Aquarius I feel that you you have a sense of direction you know exactly what you want you see potential for a new beginning or opportunity somewhere else and you're manifesting this change you're manifesting uh, independence financial stability and your dreams come true but I feel that you're coming from the place that in order for me to have this I need to end, I need to kind of detach from people who are too faced, who've been too faced, who've been nothing but the hard work, and I'm done. And I see for some of you this is a travel. 
changing place of residence, especially with this with this energy, with the six of swords and with the chariot. It's like a it's 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 it feels like a ta you are taking a trip or you you move. You're moving because you see opportunities somewhere else. Opportunities for emotional fulfillment represented by the nine of cups and for material stability and being fully independent and happy. Again, happy, happy. Very powerful read Aquarius, very powerful. It's like you are taking back control and that's it. You're done with this, that's it. You want this, happiness, personal satisfaction, being emotionally, financially independent, being in a good financial situation. And you will be, you have victory, you have chariot here, you'll be victorious. Those plans that you have, uh, that you've been planning or those plans that you made, they will manifest, they will manifest and you'll be very successful and very happy Aquarius. Powerful read, I must say. Aquarius, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Aquarius, have a fabulous and beautiful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. Take care. Bye.